from a 50-meter deep-sea monster that uses a human hand lure to deceive its victims to a small, flexible fish ancestor. What happened if sea hand monster evolved from natural selection? Early ray finned fish possessed lightweight skeleton and flexible swimming, giving it the first modern fish look. Devonian period. Benthic anglerfish, first true anglerfish, utilizing an elishum and esca for attracting prey near the seabed. Cretaceous period. Serratioidae marks the transition from a benthic to a bathypelagic existence. Body become less dense and eyes shrunk. Paleocene epoch. <laughs> Early gigantactinidae, elongated body shape. Elysium begins to grow significantly longer, early Eocene. <laughs> Whipnose angler, deep sea fish with long Elysium, whose bioluminescent esca is often vibrated to attract prey. Now. Gigantic whipnose angler grows immensely larger and begins to move to live upward in the water column. Five million years to the future, <laughs> giant handed whipnose growing small hands from its body. Esca slowly turns into a hint of a human hand. 10 million years to the future. Uh, ooh. Sea hand monster. Esca fully turned into a human hand, which is primarily used to deceive its human victims. 20 million years to the future. From a small, ancient ray finned fish to a massive, human luring oceanic giant. This is a fun hypothetical look at how evolution might have shaped the sea hand monster. 